Hey guys, welcome to your September 2024 prediction reading. This is going to be for Aquarius. Um, you can apply this to any of your placements. Anything could come up. So we are going to take a look and see uh, what you guys need to know, what's around you guys at this time here. Um, so apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post them when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Aquarius. Talking about Aquarius here. What messages do we have here for Aquarius? For September 2024. What is surrounding Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know for September 2024? For Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, we have the Fool card and the Hangman and also the Hierophant here. All major arcana, you guys. Aquarius at this time, I feel like it could be getting into the energy of just living life fruitless, fancy free here. You guys are surrendering to the process here and just allowing things to be here, okay? I do feel like you guys are definitely in this process of like sort of like finding some sort of spiritual enlightenment here. Some of you guys are being enlightened, yeah. So, um, you know, I feel like, you know, when it comes to your path here at this point, you know, Aquarius, I feel like you guys are on a really, really, really good path here, okay? Or that you feel like the path that you're meant to be on is being illuminated in front of you right now at this time. Emperor Aries energy. So I feel like you guys have definitely really built a life for yourself at this time here. You know, I feel like there's structure, there's stability, you know. I do feel like there's a strong foundation here. With the two of wands here, some of you guys have a decision to make here, okay? Which way to go, you know, right or left here? You know, this could be regarding your work. I mean, some of you guys could be deciding whether to stay where you are living right now or move away here. Like physically move away to a different town, different city, different state, different continent, different country here. We have temperance here, Sagittarius energy. You know, at this time, I feel like you're just being guided where the wind is blowing you at this time. And that's the right thing to do, you know? Just kind of like being guided, being called to where you are meant to be or where you're meant to go here, um, Aquarius, okay? So let's see what else we have here for you guys. Let me just put this here. Fool. And the Ace of Swords. The Hangman. And the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Interesting. Some of you guys are letting go of this old version of yourself. Some of you guys have done, done some deep, inner child wounding work here. Yeah, some of you guys could be tending to that inner child, releasing the pain uh, and the trauma that you have experienced as a child here. Tell me about the hi uh, Hierophant here. You know, with the Page of Wands here, I mean, you could be moving to towards a, an exciting new beginning here too. And I feel like you're just surrendering to this process here and letting things naturally unfold here. We have the Nine of Swords here. Some of you guys could be going through some sort of spiritual ascension, some sort of spiritual enlightenment here, where I feel like you guys could be feeling this kind of like this very, very, very dense and heavy energy. Because as you go through a spiritual awakening and, uh, you know, an, an ascension here, the energy can be very, very, very heavy. You could be feeling very drained, very tired, okay? You guys could be receiving a lot of intuitive hits here, a lot of downloads here with the Three of Pentacles and the Emperor here. The Two of Wands. And also the tower. This tower has come up for every single person that I've done so far. This is the fifth reading I'm doing here, which is Aquarius. So I feel like there's a lot of sudden changes or a lot of powerful changes that are happening here for everyone at this time. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like also for the collective consciousness here, you know, I just feel like there's just a lot of shifts 
and, ch and changes that are happening here. So, you know, uh, shifts in balance and see, balance here, you know, shifts between good versus evil here, okay? Do you feel like it has something to do with the, the, everything that's going on in the collective consciousness right now? We have temperance here and the hermit card. During this time, I feel like it's important for you to stay on track in order and also for you to stay grounded here. Because I feel like some of you guys could be absorbing, you know, all the uh, uh, energies outside of yourself, you know, whatever is going outside, going on outside of you in the collective consciousness, it could be affecting you in a deep way here, Aquarius, okay? So it's really important for you guys to protect yourself. What else do we have for, for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on for September 2024 for Aquarius? Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Yeah, that Five of Wands keeps coming out for everyone too. There's something going on with the collective consciousness here where there's a lot of conflict here in and around people's lives. You know, this could be with family, this could be with friends, this could be with co-workers, this could be with a romantic partner, this could be with an ex. There's just a lot of conflict here, okay? And you feel like this is maybe a perfect opportunity to work on resolving those conflict. You know, uh, moving forward here, I feel like, you know, Aquarius, I, some of you guys could be really busy with work here. You know, I feel like you guys are pouring a lot of energy into your work here, and some of you guys could be getting a very handsome reward moving forward. What else do we have here for Aquarius? Eight of Swords. And also the Nine of Pentacles here. Wow. Some of you guys are reaching your financial freedom and your successes here. This is interesting. Some of you guys also fear being successful here too, and they feel like you guys are reaching that. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Page of Cups. Hmm. Why is this page of cups here? And someone here could have a secret. You could have a secret admirer here where someone here is thinking about you a lot. Okay, just kidding. Your ex could be coming back around where this person's thinking about you here. Perhaps that's the unresolved issues that you have here with somebody. Yeah, you know, someone here could be looking for a reconciliation. The uh, nine of pentacles here and the moon. I mean, there could be a fear of someone here losing you. I mean, it could be a situation that some of you guys could, could ha be having a deep, profound dreams about an ex here or anyone in and around your life that you have conflict here with. Perhaps your dreams are showing you something here or that it's time to resolve certain situations that you, might be holding you back at this time with the Five of Pentacles here and the, the, uh, the, the Three of Cups. And yeah, some of here could be coming back around because some of here could be missing you here or some of here is feeling lonely without you. Uh, so if some of you guys have dealt with some sort of financial struggle here, that could be coming to an end here. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. Someone's life is changing in a major way here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles here. And also the Strength card, Leo Energy. Okay. Why is the strength card here? Five of swords. Okay. We have a lot of fives here. I, I, I feel like there's a lot of conflict in collective consciousness right now. It's coming, it's coming up in every reading here. The chariot and the nine of cups. I mean, some of you guys could be in this energy of really putting yourselves first and moving towards your happiness at this time here. So I feel like, you know, if there's a lot going on here, I feel like you guys are trying not to let the outside forces affect you here. <coughs> okay, so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks, guys. Bye.